Welcome to Charwell News Roundup, the first ever edition. Very exciting day today. I'm mm -hmm. sat here in the Charwell offices. My name's Alex Woolley. Hi, I'm Natalie Wright. So first of all, let's take a look at the front page. And we have two stories this week. So our main story is the Merton legal challenge to Oxford City Council. So Merton is calling um, a charge, an authorised housing tax. Um, so the council is trying to charge the college £140 for every square metre that it wants to build for new student accommodation, which Merton is not very happy about. And on the other half of the front page is our slightly provocative Will She Be There Next Year? with a picture of a covered market trader looking rather glum. And the story is that covered market rents are going up by up to 70%, uh, which is rather steep, I have to say. Um, but anyway, the, the council have defended this by saying that they're setting rents in the same way that any other commercial landlord would do. Um, but inside the paper, we have our very exciting page four, page five spread. Mm -hmm. And predictably, it's about Thatcher, who passed at the, well, whose funeral was this Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So as to be expected, a lot of different reactions um, from the university to her death. Uh, one interesting thing we found this week is a protest arranged by someone at Ruskin College, so not actually at the university. But he arranged a protest for people to turn their backs on the coffin at the funeral, um, which I don't think Alka are very pleased with. Um, they call Indeed. this disrespectful. Indeed. No, my, I think my favourite part about this article, actually, is a little comment piece by a girl who ended up going to one of these Thatcher's dead parties. And, uh, yeah, she's got a very, very inter interesting view on all that. But, Natalie, what was your, your favourite story of the week? Hmm. Thanks for asking. Um, well, we've actually got a lovely new investigation section this term for Charles. And the first investigation was about homelessness in Oxford, which is something quite a lot of people are interested in, I think. Um, you can see a lot of homeless people walking around. But the good news is, is that there's actually been a decrease in homelessness, according to our um, investigative journalists. Um, and that book's a nationwide trend where homelessness is actually going up. So that was pretty interesting. And yeah. um, do you have a favourite story? I well, I did. Um, yep. My personal favourite was the future of the history faculty library. Oh yeah, tell me what. Well, um, yeah, well, so I mean, after about a year or something of, of debate, um, there's a future for it. The mm. William Hague has announced that the government's global centre for cyber security capacity will be based there, uh, which is very exciting news. But then we've got some nicely sarcastic comments from some people Lovely. in that story. And, and I think that wraps it up. So thanks a lot for watching. I've been Natalie Wright. I'm Alex Woolley and this was Charwell News Roundup.